In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Terrain tool in 3D Max, and also, uh, by using the Terrain tool, create kind of a, a lower resolution version of the surface here, or any kind of surface that you have. Um, the nice thing about the Terrain tool is you can make a cross-section or a sort of a loft, but without having the same number of vertices in every shape. Um, so, I'm going to I have this uh, plane here that I added a noise modifier and wave modifier to, to create kind of an uneven... Uh, uh, form. So uh, now we'll go to the Create tab, and under the Shapes menu, you can use the Section tool and draw just kind of a section. And so the Section tool will cut a section and create an edit spline wherever that section passes through the geometry. So we can start by creating a section, you know, down at the bottom here, um, wherever you want, and then go to the Modify tab, and under the Parameters, you can hit Create Shape and say OK, and then just kind of move this thing along and create shapes as you go um, at different levels. And of course, I could be typing in exact values down here in the Z, so if I want to move this every two feet, for example, in the Z, I could do that, but I'm just sort of uh, doing it loosely right now. OK, and so once you're done, you can just go ahead and delete that plane, and we'll just hide this one for now. And these are the different uh, shapes that I've made from that um, original surface. So now you want to make sure you attach these um, in order. So I'm going to select the bottom one and um, then go to my modify tab, select attach, and then just select these in order. Okay. And then, oh, actually I have one extra spline in there that I don't need. Okay, so you attach the different lines in order, and then all you have to do is go to the Create tab, and go to your Geometry menu in Compound Objects, and then select Terrain, and it will automatically rebuild that terrain, and it sort of uh, always connects to the closest next line, so it, it remakes it pretty nicely. Um, and over here on the right on the parameters of the terrain you have different options so you could do it as a graded solid for example um, you could do just a surface you can do a layered solid solid so it's all steps um, and it might produce some weird results that you can add an edit poly and clean up in the edit poly um, subobject level you can stitch the border retriangulate um, to produce a, a different kind of uh, triangulation um, I tend to use the graded surface, and then with the graded surface, you can always um, you know, take the border in an edit poly and then extrude it down if you want. You can also, under simplification, uh, use half the points, so you can use make a more simplified version of it. You can also use a quarter of the points, even more simplified, um, or you can increase the line, or, use, or simplify it in the vertical direction as well. So we'll just use no simplification there. Um, and I'll unhide my original form, and you can see it's sort of a low-resolution version of that original. But what's nice about it is you can start to create, you know, especially if you use like graded solid, start to create these um, kind of flat, sorry, graded surface, and then uh, or layered solid. You can start to create these kind of flat levels within here. Um, and again, if you add the edit poly modifier. You can actually go into these polygons and start to edit them like you would any other edit poly, ge poly geometry.